Good lawns can turn really bad when the summer comes. It can just destroy them. And you might think that water alone can really save it, but that's not the case. Good turf can easily be damaged from the stress of summer and drought. So what I'm gonna show you today is a formula that I've developed, that you can do yourself, that can help protect your turf throughout the entire summer. I've had great results with this because it's based on commercially available formulas, but I've done it in just a simple three-part DIY formula that you can do yourself for hundreds less than those commercial products, and you could get the same results. The formula I've developed is based on several commercially available products that cost upwards of $100 a gallon. Now those work great, but they're just too expensive and it's easy to make something yourself that does the same job. And that brings us to our first ingredient in the formula, and this is organic liquid sea kelp. Now sea kelp is the same stuff that's in the ocean, but when you use it on your lawn, it can really have a huge benefit. Sea kelp has been proven scientifically to really improve your turf. Now I won't go into huge detail, but the biggest benefits of sea kelp are that it helps with drought resistance in plants, helps with root development, and really stimulates the soil. So by itself, sea kelp is a fantastic addition and a core element to this formula. The next ingredient in a formula is gonna be somewhat controversial to a lot of people out there, but it's been around the longest and it's got a huge following. And that product is called Super Thrive. Now Super Thrive is very popular for gardeners and people use it for indoor plants, but you can use it on the lawn and it really has some good benefits. Now it's primarily a vitamin based product. It's gonna help with root development. It's also very inexpensive. So I have no issue whatsoever putting this in the formula just to even get those vitamins and trace elements. Our final ingredient in the formula is this. Humic acid. Humic acid is a fantastic product for your lawn. It helps with soil development, root development, and it's gonna create a better environment for your plants to uptake anything you put down. Now by that what I mean is, products, fertilizer, anything you apply will have a better uptake by applying humic acid to your soil. Now that we've got everything together, we can begin mixing the product. And I'm gonna go through exactly how to mix it, what I use for amounts, and you'll see how easy it is. I should note that wearing things like gloves or eye protection is a good idea, though all of these products are actually organic and natural and they're really not much of a hazard. You wanna make sure to shake them all up like this to make sure they're ready for use. I'm only using this clear container so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now here I'm going to make enough formula so that I end up with four gallons of finished solution. That means four gallons of stuff that I can put on my lawn. Now my first thing here I'm going to mix is Super Thrive. I'm adding one tablespoon of Super Thrive to our mix. Now to move on to liquid kelp. Give this an extra shake because it can really settle. Now all I have to do is mix what I'm gonna use. So for the four gallons, I am gonna mix up one cup of liquid sea kelp. Now one cup is just an easy measurement and that translates into about eight ounces. You can be a little off either way and it's not gonna cause an issue. And now to humic acid. What I've got here is about 24 ounces or three cups of humic acid. This is another ingredient that if you wanna put a little more or less, it's not a problem. And just to give you a good visual, I'm gonna add some water to my concentrate so you can see how it mixes up. Now this stuff does foam up quite a bit, so you might just have to wait a few seconds to let it settle down before you add a little more water. Now our formula's ready, how do we apply it? In my opinion, the best way for a medium or a smaller size lawn is gonna be a backpack sprayer. Now this one's a great choice. It's the model 105EX by Sprayers Plus. Now just to be clear, this sprayer was provided to me free of charge to do a review, but I really like to do reviews in real life situations. So this video was perfect. Now this thing is powered by a battery, so no pumping. It has a lithium ion unit right inside and it's even got a small power gauge so you know exactly how much juice you've got before you start your spray job. 
Now you certainly can use any brand of sprayer, but the Sprayers Plus unit is a great option. You can see the power switch there, it's easy to use, and I like the build quality a lot on these things. They're really solid and I feel like they're gonna last a long time. Another notable feature about this sprayer is that it's got this stainless steel frame and it's got a really handy to get at built-in filter in case you've got a clog. Now even if you're using another spray, you always want to know where your filter is because it can get clogged easily if you've got too much debris in your mix. Now with our sprayer ready, we've just got to add our concentrate to it so we can start the job. As I said earlier, this sprayer holds exactly four gallons and that's what I'm doing is just going to top it off with water until I get the sprayer completely filled up. Our formula is mixed up in the sprayer, all we've got to do is put it down. It's easy and the first thing to think about is if you've got an adjustable nozzle on your sprayer, you want to set it to a pretty wide pattern because you want to put down a good amount to soak as much of the turf as possible. Now once you've done that, you want to just walk in straight lines going down your turf, spraying it as evenly as possible. And then when you reach the end of your first pass, you're going to come back and try to do a little bit of overlap, but again, walk in a straight line and try to keep your pace steady, because if you walk too fast or slow, you're really going to vary your amount. Now obviously here it's sped up just to show you, but I'm going to go back and forth as evenly as possible to get good coverage on my lawn, and that's going to give you the best result. Treating your lawn is easy, even if you've got a very small space or a large one. Now for a small space, you can just use a hand pump sprayer or a much smaller battery powered unit. Those will work just fine. It doesn't really make a difference. But if you've got a large space and you've got to take care of it, other options exist. You can use a tow behind sprayer that uses a boom type system, or in my case, I prefer to use one of these walk behind units. Now the one here is powered by a battery and it holds about 12 gallons and I don't mind pushing it around and it does a good job giving me coverage. Now I still don't use this for most of my spaces, but when I have the biggest areas to do, I will take this out to get the job done. Now I've given you my secret recipe to help keep your lawn looking good throughout the summer. And I can tell you that water alone like you're seeing here is not enough. My lawn used to still burn out and I've seen a marked improvement when I put this formula into use. And I believe you can too. Don't spend $100 a gallon on commercially available products when you can make them yourself for a lot less money and they do the same job. But I encourage you to do your own research, look at labels and see what those products have in them and I think you're going to find that what I've shown you in this video today is really the same solution, just done for a lot less money. So I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and comment below if you've got something that you do that really helps your lawn beat the heat and get through the summer.